Um, when I see the Nine of Swords, I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords. Not a big combo. Not a big combo. But we will work with what we got, family. So I like this. The Queen of Wands, that's y'all. Well, actually, the King of Wands is really what, where you lend your, your energy. But it still don't mean that you guys aren't embodying your element, which is still a really good thing. The heart of the reading shows the King, Queen of Pentacles. So you're not only seeing the value of something that you've committed putting and can and are currently putting time into but you're also extremely passionate about the current relationship you're extremely passionate now for some of you guys you're very passive in the relationship at the moment not as passive as queen of cups but you're not necessarily being the king of wands in the situation which isn't bad either right there's always got to be a give and a take and i feel like you guys are you know enjoying the attention given by somebody you're enjoying the lavish you know you know energy from the other person person you are literally being the the plus one it's like it looks like you guys are maybe taking turns. Like you guys are exchanging the plus one thing. Like you're just enjoying the person's love and attention, and then you do the same thing vice versa. What's underneath the Queen of Wands? Yeah, the Three of Cups. So I feel like you guys met in a setting of friends, or a, in a group setting somewhere with either your friends introduced you to this person, or this is um. Or this could be that you guys have met in some sort of community, some sort of organization, something that brought you two together that required, you know, not required, but had very similar similarities, right? Something that you guys can both connect with really well. Now, the Queen of Wands doesn't say it have to be you; it could be the other person. They, they could be, they could be passive. Either you could be the one, you know, seeing them as your other half. This is your, you know, your plus one, your boo, or this is you just enjoying their energy, like just you just being loved up, right? And the Queen of Cups, yes, she's the one that's the most loved up. But the Queen of Wands, she doesn't mind like taking action. She's like, she goes with the, like she has her own flair and her own unique, you know dazzle about herself but i feel like with the queen of wands she doesn't necessarily um she puts herself out there but she she also can enjoy receiving the energy she's good at receiving that energy too she's good at playing off of other energies and curve you know making them out to be you know her you know her energy right i'm not making it out to be but like you know it's weird like it's like like a collage painting like if somebody starts painting something the queen of wands will take her beautiful you know skill set and put it on top of that painting and it works right some you know sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't whatever it is is that this person really, i feel like either you or the other person is like blending together with someone else's energy that's it now this person here could be a king uh excuse me that could be a king it could be a male or female yes but this person could be a taurus virgo capricorn that you're dealing with Okay, so, but I kind of get the feeling that, yeah, I kind of get the feeling that you may be dealing with an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be an earth sign. It could be that this is you feeling very, very concentrated, right? Very ready to go, if that makes sense. Not like already the queen of wands, but you're committed, you're ready to put work in, you're ready to start manifesting, you're ready to start, you know, implementing real life you know um real life action to a potential you know a real life potential real life dream okay really making something real now the past you had the ten of wands i do feel like there maybe there was some sort of burden in the past something that was being held up a lot of um a lot of things being held back or no no i never necessarily held back but you're definitely either overwhelmed with something, something that was overflowing, something that was a serious burden. Um, and I feel like this was something that you kind of were okay with at the time, necessarily. It was a burden for you. I think you realized it was a burden, but it wasn't something that, of course, you couldn't handle on your own. It was just it was just a bit much right it was just, it was taking up a lot of your space a lot of your time a lot of your ability to do things it restricted a lot of your your, your um, flexibility but it was something that you were willing to restrict respect um, flexibility with now i kind of get this feeling that either it was you or the other person but i kind of get this feeling that you know this was the ending of the cycle that you're kind of like getting used to 
or get, uh, trying, you know, obviously adjusting to uh, letting go, right? I think you knew that that burden was there, and the situation was just wasn't calling for you to carry all that, you know, all that weight. So, I do see you guys have let go of all of that burden. Like, look at you now, the high priestess. That's why I was like feeling like, yeah, I feel like you guys are really receiving, enjoying love, enjoying receiving, you know, attention. Like, I'm not trying to say that you guys are attention whores or anything like that. But what I am saying, though, is that the love that you give to people is finally being received or finally being delivered, right? I think somebody's coming in to gift, to give you, uh, not lavish you in just gifts, but also, you know, pure, you know, interaction. Interaction that obviously wants to be given and not some sort of like, well, because I gave you this, here's this. It's always, it's coming from a pure place because the king of wands, if this is not you, this is someone else they're coming from a place where it's genuine right they want to do this they feel proud of doing this right now the situation also could be developing very slowly despite how fast the person is trying to work it because one they may have let had to let you know drop something had to let something go and now they're trying to figure out what they need to but not necessarily taking a ton of action so this even could be you, like I was saying, right? You're just like looking at the situation and it's receiving the information that you need. You're receiving things. So you're not taking action at this moment. And that's not a bad thing. However, it's causing you tight guys to feel a little stressed out. Because of course, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands are two of the most independent individuals in the tarot deck. Two of the most ind independent. And being passive, well, it can, it's always, you know, it's about, you know, it's that pendulum swinging, right? What you do and you be, you do and be. It makes sense to be in a very passive situation when you've always been very independent, but the stress is here. I feel like there may be this kind of feeling that you may, you know, you have to rely on others. Or like, no, it, maybe there's an issue with receiving something. Even if it does have something to do with plans for the future, it may be that there's enough, there's not much you can do right now, so you have to receive, or there is something that's calling you to receive, and there's not much you need to do at this moment, because it's probably on the other person right now, right? You have to kind of handle your side and be willing to receive in order for there to be a future with this person, right? The hardest thing about being independent is learning when to be okay with someone else giving and taking care of you and that can be the hardest thing because especially if you got the queen of pentacles here yeah you've been taking care of everything even yourself <clears throat> excuse me even yourself you've been taking care of everything including yourself i see the queen of pentacles is very similar to the empress she's got everything she's got a routine she's got a structure she's got all of it she's someone that can cover your meal if you don't have it she got your back and i feel like right now that burden of taking care of everybody has been lifted because someone else has noticed that you've been doing that and they want to do that for you. But of course, right, with somebody as independent as you are, it may be hard to do it. You know, you're used to taking care of everyone else and yourself. It's kind of hard to like, okay, I'm not going to take the bill this time. Oh, I'm not going to cook dinner this time. Oh, okay, I'm not going to be the first one calling this time. You know? being willing to receive it some of y'all may not have an issue y'all be like this is about damn time right like i've been waiting for forever but i feel like for those of you that have just kind of gotten back in the gear of things and now you're told to just be like nah this, you're good just enjoy what you got going on it could be kind of hard so it makes sense why the future or excuse me the uh, the best path of follows the nine of swords it's telling you that the stress that you've got going on right now the stresses that are happening this is purely f coming from you know a situation in your mind that doesn't necessarily exist okay the stress is right here this is a lot of this the, the i, I want to say this the ego talking but it's not necessarily about saying that you're egotistical you can't let somebody do something for you it's more of like it's just you've been so accustomed to doing things on your own now that you don't need to it's kind of hard to adjust to that but there's no need to stress there's no need to worry if this is you there's no need to worry if there's someone else around you understand that they're going through their own insecurities and they have to realize that their situation is not going to be is, is not it's not anything more than what's inside of them right what they feel is that's that's the only storm that's happening outside it's sunny outside we got rainbows it's you know, kids are playing that's what it looks like the person's in bed in the dark 
thinking about what you know what makes them you know feel on you know unsafe now the future shows the eight of swords and I I don't necessarily like that future only personally mine like it the reason why is because this person feels limited in options here this person feels like they don't have a lot of extensive places to go but the situation is this it's the same as the nine of swords this is all in the head it's all in their head it's like she's waking up from the nightmare she's like oh my god what if there's nothing i really can do what if that dream was right what if everything i was thinking happens this is a what if card because of the the dream or the 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 doubts that were already like roaming around that just kind of gave this person a vivid visual in their mind with the dream so the fact that they're back to forth, back and back to back, it shows that there's a lot of feeling of limitations, a lot of things holding them back, a lot of things that, a lot of things that either you know that are going on in your mind that make you feel like you don't have a lot of options. But that's just the thing, right? You're the queen of wands. You're the queen of pentacles. You're independent. There's nothing underneath. There's not a goddamn thing that can ever keep you from doing anything. And I think you already know that, which is why it's so weird. Like, why am I stressing out? Why am I feeling like this? I know I can do it. It's just I have this. Well, it's simple, right? If this is all in your mind, if this is all past, you know, things that have happened, right? Because if you think about it, you've come down quite far down the line. You've dropped this burden. I feel like you're just adjusting to it, right? It's like even though you've dropped the burden and now are open to receiving, now open to, you know, to, um, to, um, being more receptive in your energy, not just focusing on what you need to do necessarily, just about what you what should be, you know, what you can receive, right? What what are you willing to receive? I feel like this stress here is just adjusting to what brain you dropped, and I feel like understanding what you had to let go of doesn't limit you from what can happen further, but it can also. But, but it isn't, uh, I, I don't think it limits you. I feel like it shows you a new way of, give, of doing things. It shows you a new world. A new world where you can conquer and be the queen or the king. But it does require, you know, it does require, you know, this, you know, the thoughts, processes, the doubts to be noticed as just, you know, doubts and stresses. And that's going to, you know, that can be hard, right? Because their minds are really strong. And I actually was talking to a Leo, and she was so lovely. Her energy was so lovely. And the thing is, is that even though she was very stressed out about certain things that was going on in her life, she knew that no matter what, she's the kingdom of her world. No matter what limitations would be put on her, no matter what situation would, you know, present itself to be difficult, she would still overcome it. And I feel like with the Nine of Swords, it's like just understand that what you're going through is just the un is just the circumstance of what you're adjusting to, which is receiving, being more receptive, being more passive, allowing things to come to you, knowing your value, and knowing what you deserve as far as what what the return is. You know what I mean? Because I feel like as far as plans go, it has something to do with building an infrastructure. It has to do with building a future with this person that you're with. Right, we may need to receive more from this person, or maybe there's something here where, you know, you want to be more laid back and not necessarily be the the provider, if that makes sense, or the head of the house. Maybe you want to have an equal sort of thing going on with you and your partner, right? With the with the with the three of pentacles there. Whatever your future is, it's we're definitely something where you already know how you want it to be, but it's kind of like the path to get there is a little difficult. Because it does require you to be more receptive. I feel like what you guys may want in the future is to be more receptive, is to gain more, is not to take care of everybody. But un but like undoing that sort of behavior pattern, it can be difficult. And I feel like that don't you don't have to worry about you know anything regarding receiving or taking or or, or your need to take care of anybody. If this is about taking care of anybody, because. You have strong boundaries. The Queen of Pentacles doesn't rock with anything that doesn't match up with her with her with her boundaries. The Queen of Wands, she don't rock with anything that doesn't measure up to her to her energy. So if you have strong boundaries, you don't need to worry about all that, right? That's what the Queen of Pentacles is saying. Like she don't need to worry about all that. She don't need to know what worry about that what is because she got her boundaries in check. You've been through so much 
that you've got strong boundaries now. You're not going to deal with somebody that may not be able to take care of you or may not be able to, to be even to able to give something to you, to give. Not physical stuff, but, you know, maybe, like I said, the cooking dinner or, you know, picking up something around the house, picking up around the house, doing the laundry, whatever it is, right? Or even, like, giving love, being, you know, planning dates, you know, being romantic, you're being showered with attention. Like, you can do that. You do that with your loved ones anyway. You guys are the Leos. You guys shine the spotlights on everyone that you love and you have serious, you know, pride in. So perhaps you want that to happen for you. Maybe you want someone else to pay attention to you for once instead of you paying attention to everybody else. And that's not a bad thing. It just comes from a place. You have to come from a place of willingness to receive it. Because right now, you have you got a very, you know, entrepreneurial independent mindset and you don't you know you don't need nobody to do that for you but it's a luxury and it's nice and you deserve to have it and why can't you have it right so and you don't have to worry about no bloke coming in giving you less than what you feel you deserve you just got to keep your standards up you gotta keep your standards up and if there's stress about the standards about not getting that price there's always something out there and I don't feel like you guys are considering lowering your standards either. It's like, it has to be that way. But with your hopes and fears showing up as the Five of Swords, I feel like this, yeah, that's where I'm saying where the standards come in, right, with the Five of Swords. I feel like, you know, it may be a little harder to find the right person through those kinds of filter, that, that kind of boundary set. But I don't think that you'd be disappointed with the outcome because you get exactly what you wanted. You get the exact person that you want. The person that's willing to love on you as much as you're willing to love on them. Right? All you, I feel like the situation that you want is to be, you know, to be loved on, to be cherished, to be nurtured. Well, not necessarily nurtured because you're, I mean, I'm assuming, if the, I'm assuming, which I hope people that watch this are 18 and older. But I feel like you want to be taken care of. You want to be loved. You want to be supported. You don't want to be coddled, you don't want to be babied, but you definitely want to be supported. You want to be loved, you want to have someone, you want somebody that has their stuff already set to go, you have already been, because that's why you're open to receiving now. And that's why it's also very difficult. Okay, so, what you got going on is in the outcome of the Page of, page of Pentacles. Okay, that's an offer of... That's something big, right? Well, the page of pentacles is actually very small. But what he offers can grow to something very big. But that's all you need, right? It's just that you need a small little seed to begin to grow your lavish garden. And I kind of get this feeling that this person, whoever this person is, is coming in to offer you something that matches what you've been trying to receive. What you've been open to receiving, rather. But... What is it that you need to surrender to be able to get to the, the Page of Pentacles? What does Leo need to surrender for this reading for to receive the Page of Pentacles and the outcome? Surrender to non-action. Family. This is some crazy stuff sometimes. I'm so fascinated. I am so fascinated. Now's the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. That is straight up the Empress energy. That is straight up the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Like, the Queen of Wands, she'll still do stuff. She's like, I don't let anybody dictate what I will not do, what I will and what I do. But they're very the, the feminine energy is always passive there's always there's something of that element that is p more passive right receiving attention receiving energy from others necessarily right like yes you have your own creative vibes 
But I feel like there's a lot of playing off energy that I was getting for the Queen of Wands. Same with the Queen of Pentacles. She is good at maintaining things. She's really good at planning things too. But she does. She also knows how to receive. She knows how to receive love just as much as she knows how to maintain it and keep things up to par. But with the High Priestess, there's not anything you do. You just be. You just live your life. You just continue to do you. And not necessarily like, hey, just sit on your sit on your hands for a good week and wait for a response. No, still do what you are planned to do. If this is about your career, your finances, still do you. But don't do. But there's high priestess energy in your relationship. There may not need any. There, there, there may not need to be anything that you need to do here, because you've done it already, right? So it's like right now, ain't no need to stress, ain't no need to worry. Just be you, because you got other things that you may need to take care of for yourself, because the other things gonna be handled, okay? <laughs>